Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide your passphrase or um, private keys in plain sight encrypted within an image file. So as you can see here, I have two pictures. One picture um, has my private keys uh, or a sample private keys um, that I created um, encrypted in it and the other one doesn't. And I'm going to open the file that they're the folder they're located on there. And these are the two pictures. And you can see here the size. That's 179 KB. And this is 181 KB. So this is the file that actually has the extra data in there. But as you can see, in terms of file, un unless you have um, the two pictures side by side, it's, it's uh, you would not know that this picture has extra information in it without having the original source picture uh, right next to it. So what prompted me to make this video is this article that I read earlier in the week about how uh, New Zealand customs can now demand phone or laptop passwords. Um, and of course, with uh, if you don't, you'll be uh, slapped with a $5,000 fine. Now, so for example, if you're traveling and you have your passwords in a in a file on your computer, um, they would be able to have access to it. And if you go to the article, it says here, um, access information defined in legislation as including codes, passwords, and encryption keys, uh, and any related information that enables access to an electronic device. And then it says further. Customs now also has the right to copy in addition to review the data stored on the device. Now, that's the part. Like, if, if you don't have, if, if they have the right to copy and they copy your data, how do you know that um, they, they um, are going to be deleting your data or are they going to store it or, or, or do you even trust the worker? Even if they have protocols in there, do you trust whoever's um, implementing th that policy to uh, not keep a copy of your data. So if if you're forced to unlock your computer, which has private files or private keys or passcodes or whatever, and they copy it, um, then all 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 your holdings are at risk. Reading this article just got me thinking: oh, How can you hide something in plain sight? And then I re I'm reminded about uh, stenop stenography so let's go here there's a website called quick crypto and you can um, download um, their software here and I'm gonna click download and it is it's basically a software that allows you to hide files on your system so um, you can recover them and use them. So you see here it says you can conceal sensitive data, text, and files of any type into instant innocent carrier files such as JPEGs, GIFs, bitmaps, MP3s, and WAVs. So here we go. So we download it. I'm going to click run to install. Click yes. Click next. I accept. Next. Next next and install and while that is installing I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna close these two image files and click finish so I'm gonna double click to run and let's click don't show at startup and here we go so what we want to click on is stego over here there you go and over here we're going to click open a file but before we do that let me do this this is the file I'm gonna um, embed the data in this one so I'm gonna make a copy and call it family copy I'm gonna call it one so this is gonna be the original and then we're going to modify this one. So as you can see, they're both 130 KB. We're going to modify family two. So I'm going to click on open file. 
And then we're going to go to that folder where I put it on the desktop. Sample folder. Here we go. So family one will be our original, and family two will be the one with the encrypted data. Okay, so in this field is where we're going to put whatever text we want. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to go to this website and create a generic um, uh, passphrase and private key. There we go. So let me copy it. And then go back to the app and paste it. And gonna copy the key and so this is just to say that show that you can just do it with any kind of text or whatever paste it and over there okay so next we want to do is click on hide data and it's gonna say hiding data will overwrite the currently selected file to include the selected hidden message and or file so I'm gonna click yes and there we go. So I'm going to exit it. Let's close, minimize this. And as you can see, there's two. This one is 130, and this one is 132. So if you have it on your computer just a bunch of pictures and they copy it, they would not immediately know that these are files that has passcodes, private keys, seed phrases, or anything. They just see, okay, this is. Um, this person's family pictures and uh, if, even if they copy it at least it gives you time um, to to move your your funds someplace else just in case they have a copy of this but you know this is being hidden in plain sight so a lot of times it'll just, it's, it gets passed by opposed to having uh, say for instance if I had this file like crypto So this, something like this, and then like if I paste these, uh, let's paste this in here and save. So a file like this, if, if somebody were to get a hold of your computer and see a file like this, they're going to immediately say, hey, this is the juicy file. This is what we want. And copy that, take it, and quickly know what it's for. But if all they see are family pictures, they're going to like, there's nothing much here without knowing if they're all encrypted. And what helps is if you have a lot of pictures in here and it's just a whole bunch. And if you just know in your mind which picture is the one that has the, the code, then you can easily grab it. So now let me show you how to grab it. Now, one thing I do suggest, if you got, you're going to do this, don't install this application on whatever de device that you have your um, encrypted uh, thing, encrypted picture on. So, because um, what's going to happen is they're going to look, oh, hey, so one of his pictures has some sensitive information. Let's go through them all. So I would highly suggest after doing this, uninstall it. Keep it on another computer or another place or just know where you can keep, get it so you can install it later on. Okay, so with that being said, let's get open it and I'm just click close so you, there's a de default password used for encryption we can add on to that but I'm not going to do that in this example so let's go to stego again I'm going to click open file so I'm going to open the file one first and you can see nothing so let's click open file I'm going to open family two and there you can see the data you can read the data anyway that's it for this video I just wanted to show um, uh, alternative means of hiding your key in, or seed phrase in plain sight um, now of course this does come with risk I mean you're basically hiding it in the open this is kind of equivalent of um, uh, you know hiding or I guess you know those fake rocks but this is a little bit better because fake rocks are obviously fake you know the fake rocks where you can hide keys and or whatever inside and then you blends in with everything else but 
the nice part about this, it's a better than a fake rock where you can hide stuff in because it really is a picture. And um, if you examine the pictures, you would not know the difference. So let's open them both. You would not know the difference between either one of those. And you only know if the original is next to it just because there's a slight difference in size. And that's about it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.